What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, alongside Doug Miller, Core Nutritionals. That's right. Click on the link down below, buy some shit. Again, Core Fury, Core Pump, Core MRP, which I'm taking home with me. What flavor? You gave me a peanut butter, didn't you? Peanut butter oatmeal cookie. Oh. It is our best seller. It's like a four it to one be. over the other flavor. It's just amazing. It's it should amazing be. Amazing taste. It should be, but uh, he left it in the kitchen for the employees. F them. I'll fire all of them so I can have that shit. Anyway, the subject is, is from Jeff, Jeff Nakar. We know him. I know him at least. Anyway, his subject <laughs> is feel drained every day. Hey Mark, I've been bodybuilding for four to five years now. Recently, every day I feel unmotivated and drained during training. I try to combat this with sometimes taking two full days off. Yet when I enter the gym again, I feel the same. Not sure what is wrong, if I'm not recovering or what, but just always tired. Caffeine isn't doing anything for me. I am eating enough, I sleep six to eight hours a night, and training is on point. Maybe I shouldn't train five to six days a week. I don't know. Just ask for some advice. Thanks, Mark. Ooh, six, six to eight hours a week? Six to eight hours a night. A day of it? Yeah, six okay. to eight hours a night. I know for me, like, if I get six hours sleep multiple nights in a row, that's not enough for me. Not for I mean, most people either. And, you know, so I think first check it, your sleep schedule. And, you know, most people say, ah, it's such a busy day. Well, like, yeah, I go, I know, I get it. But, like, make priority. Like, don't sit up and play video games and watch TV. Not saying he necessarily does that, but a lot of people do. So take priority. Like, sleep has, has to be a priority. Do a nighttime sleep routine, whether it's reading, praying, meditating, whatever. Uh, turn off your, your email and all that and really kind of focus on the sleep. That's a big thing. The other thing is, he says he's eating enough. You know, my first question would be like, are you really eating enough? And what is he eating? I mean, here's the deal. Like, people ask, like, we, we, we're, both of us are pigeonholed as bros because the people who have CS eat, we eat chicken and rice and egg whites and all the standard bro shit, right? The reason we do that is because they're chock full of micronutrients. And we, look, I myself have tried, not all the time, but I've tried different foods. My body doesn't operate optimally. Also, what are you supplementing with? Are you getting good green supplements? Are you getting enough multivitamins? We travel all the time. We make sure we take those health supplements with us because that's a part of being healthy. And also on another point, what are you doing for what I call Doug's been doing? I mean, I've traveled with Doug for a couple of years now, hundreds of days. Okay. I call it regen now because I have a new education, mm -hmm. but are you doing the foam rolling? Are you doing recovery? I mean, okay, you're taking two days off a week, but are you truly recovering? Are you foam rolling? Are you getting deep tissue massage? Are you doing those things to aid in your recovery from the gym? Because I'm guessing you're going there. If you're tired, you're probably beating it up. He sounds like he's beating it up. Yeah, I mean, I would probably put it first to like, look at his peri-workout nutrition. Yes. So, like, are you eating enough complex carbs before your training? Are you re replenishing muscle glycogen after your training? Or are you just going in the gym and just destroying muscle glycogen and just kind of doing like aerobics in the gym and just spending too long there and not being efficient? I mean, there's so many things that you can look at. Um, you know, good BCA recovery product during your training. Quality of food. Um, rolling out before it amounts. I mean, I would yeah. think if he's stuck, like if his weight's not changing or going down, he probably needs some more food. Um, there's just so many different things here. You got to be on point. At the end of the day, maybe just totally train up, change up your training. You might just be bored with what you're doing. So kind of train outside the box. You don't have to pigeonhole to do X, Y, and Z every time. Yeah. You know, mix it up. Maybe do an upper body, lower body split. One day on, one day off you know, and then just change, tra uh, alternate between upper and lower body, mix it up. You don't have to always train like a bro. You don't always have to train like a power lifter, you know, and, and that might re-energize you because it's mentally, mentally, mentally yeah, number one. mental break. And so, and just the one last thing is that we talk about a lot is just getting up for the gym. Like you need to be focused on making progress at the gym. And, but at the same time, you know, don't beat yourself up just because you're, you're not going to hit a PR every workout. No. And some people get so wrapped up that I'm not making any gains and it just gets in their head and then they start dreading the gym. You know, go in there, get mentally ready and just give it your all and let it go. You know, some people harp on it so much that it just brings them down. And I this will, yeah. recently did that. And this will go from a personal standpoint. Like, like you, um, a lot of people, Jeff, Jeff has emailed me before. He's interacted with my social media. So I know a lot about him. He is very... Um, he's a student of the sport. He's a thinker, and you know I'm not sure if he's if he's followed. But there's a lot of people who come out like, okay, you got to eat pop tarts all the time, this that. And I think he's just trying a lot of stuff, and he's overthinking things. Let's get back to the basics. Let's yeah. get back to the quality of food, the amount of food, the recovery. You're